Among Photoshop's many adjustment tools, perhaps the most powerful are levels and curves. With these two tools you can make anything from a simple exposure adjustment to detailed colour corrections in shadows and beyond. More recent versions of Photoshop have incorporated these tools into what is called an adjustment layer. These allow you to work on a new layer of the original image without changing the original and in this tutorial we will demonstrate both a new levels layer and a new curves layer. With an image open in Photoshop, from the menu select Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. We will give our layer a name, in this case Adjust Levels and click OK. In the Layers palette you will now see a new layer and above in the Adjustments palette you will see the familiar Levels histograms and tools. Under the histogram there are three triangles. Drag the left hand one into the right and you will see the darker areas of the image get darker. Dragging the right hand triangle to the left will make the highlights or the brighter parts of the image more bright. The middle triangle adjusts the midtones of the image. Dragging this to the left will lighten the midtones and to the right will darken them. To get an optimum image we are trying to bring the shadows triangle into the beginning of the left hand side of the histogram and the highlights triangle into the right hand side of the histogram. If the final image is then too light or dark we can then use the midtone triangle to get the image to the right look. Above the histogram is a little drop down box that allows us to make levels adjustments in just the red green and blue part of the image. At the top of the adjustment levels palette is a drop down box. This has a number of useful preset adjustments including darker, lighter, contrast adjustment and midtone adjustments. On the left of the levels palette are three eyedropper tools. The uppermost is the black point eyedropper. Selecting this tool and clicking on the image will define the darkest point of the image and adjust the histogram accordingly. The bottom eyedropper does the same for the highlights allowing you to define the brightest part of the image. The middle dropper allows you to manually set a mid grey tone in the image. Using this tool and selecting an area that you believe to be a neutral mid-grey will adjust the overall colour balance around this. Finally, to the right of the RGB drop-down we have an auto button. Clicking on this, Photoshop will make an automatic adjustment to what it thinks are the correct levels, contrast and colour based on the histogram reading. Let's close this image and open a new one to take a look at the Curves Layer Adjustment tool. As before, from the menu select Layer, New Adjustment Layer and this time Curves. Give your layer a name and click on OK. Where we saw the Levels palette before, we now see the Curves palette with a slightly different looking histogram. At the top left of the palette, selecting the Hand tool allows us to adjust the highlights, midtones and shadows by changing the shape of the line overlaying the histogram. If we want to adjust the shadows we are going to click and drag in the lower left of the line. Dragging the line upwards brightens the shadow areas and dragging it down darkens them. Release the mouse when happy, then go to the upper right of the line. If we repeat the same exercise we see that dragging the line upwards lifts the highlights and dragging downwards darkens them. This can be extremely useful for recovering detail in blown highlights. We can now click and drag in the centre of the line to make adjustments to the midtones. The real secret of the curves adjustment is that it gives you much more control over the image compared to the levels tool. 
You can create multiple control points in the curve line to minutely adjust certain tonal ranges. Like the Levels tool, this can also be done in the individual red, green and blue channels, as well as the combined RGB channel. Because of the increased control, it can be useful for increasing the saturation of one colour and using the curve to correct the secondary colour. The Curves Adjustment also features the same eyedropper tools as the Levels tool, as well as having a number of presets. There are some additional presets available compared to the Levels tool. These include Cross Process to simulate an old film based effect and Colour Negative which turns the image into the orange look of a colour negative film. You also have the option to create your own presets using the custom tool. On the top right of the Levels and Curves adjustment layers you will see a small triangle icon. Clicking on this reveals a drop down with a number of extra options. At the top the expanded view option will make the palette larger on the screen. There are options for saving and loading adjustment presets, showing the clipping points and for resetting the current adjustments back to their default levels. Below this is a duplicate of all the adjustment layers available from the top menu. When you are happy with your adjusted image you can save it as a PSD. This will preserve the layers in the image and allow you to adjust them further at a later date. Or you can flatten the image from the layers and save as a JPEG file. If you do this you will not be able to make further adjustments to the adjustment layers.